This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2498, Why You Should Eat When You're Sick, by J.C. Dean of jcdfitness.com. And I'm your narrator, Dr. Neil. Happy middle of the week Wednesday, and welcome to another edition of Optimal Health Daily, where I read some of the best blogs covering health and fitness, just like an audiobook, and always with a bit of my commentary at the end. Now, today is Wednesday, and like I do every Wednesday, I like to share a little bit of inspiration with you. So here we go. Quote, Difficulties mastered are opportunities won. Winston Churchill. All right, and with that, let's get right to today's post as we optimize your life. Why You Should Eat When You're Sick by J.C. Dean of jcdfitness.com As I write this, my state of mind is a bit altered. I am running a temperature of 101.8, and I feel like I've had a conversation with Grimm himself. At least he was decent company. Normal stuff. On that preceding intro, allow me to explain myself. Today started out like any other normal day. I woke up early to tackle the errands in my schedule. I ate a bowl of oats, a monstrous plate of eggs, and drank a shake. I had to run to the YMCA, update my membership information, go to the ATM, and meet a good friend downtown to hang for a few hours. Not an incredibly happening day, but, you know, fairly normal. That's exactly how I felt up until about 4 p.m. I felt as normal as a young guy can feel, just going about his business, living life, and hanging out with one of his best friends. Not so normal stuff. Then it happened. On my way home, my stomach wasn't acting like a normal stomach should be acting. It was actually hurting and rumbling and talking to me. I get to my place of residence and oddly, I don't feel like eating, so I make an enormous shake in my gigantic blender that would put the fear of Moses and Jay Cordage from the late night juicer blender commercials. Eggs, oats, yogurt, cottage cheese, protein powder, peanut butter, the works. You name it, I put it in this shake. Excuse me, I'm straying off topic. And here is where I get uncomfortable. Back to my talking stomach. After I finished my shake, I wasn't too sure that was such a marvelous choice. My stomach still continued to gnash its bloody teeth at me. So, I chewed on a few Rolades. Nothing. No relief. About 30 minutes later, I decided it was a good time to be objective about my situation and admit to myself that I had come down with a nasty strain of influenza. In my misery, I took it upon myself to ingest a few PM-friendly tabs of acetaminophen. This was 7 PM, mind you. I laid in bed for two straight hours, changing the channel back and forth between Fight Club and Reservoir Dogs. My body ached and was on fire at the same time. I couldn't decide to get out from underneath the layers of blankets or to set my hair ablaze and jump off of the top story of the nearest office building. At least that would take my mind off of the pain in my stomach. So, as I lay there engulfed in flames, I figured this may be a good time to check my temperature, you know, for fun, among other health reasons. This is when I discovered I was slowly roasting from the inside out, 101.8 degrees Fahrenheit. As a result, I get up in hopes of forcing myself to eat something and possibly allow my temperature to subside a bit, as I am sure the blankets and winter coat were not helping the matter. Reason behind my illness-induced rambling. Why did I take the time to write all of this? Simple. I feel very strongly about my current situation. I am not appreciable of the fact that I understand I need to eat but I struggle to lift my hand to my mouth and insert protein-rich foods. Although I am not on a fat loss diet at this moment, I am remembering a few accounts of fitness folk asking if it's all right to remain in a caloric deficit when you are sick and in the middle of a diet. Is it okay? One word, no. This is a period of time when your body is craving nutrients. In my current state, I am not craving anything processed or sweet in the sense of manufactured carbohydrates. I am craving apples, pears, oranges, and a variety of melons. Too bad I feel terrible and don't think it would be a good idea to stroll over to my local grocer to snag some fruit. I'm stuck in this house until tomorrow morning when I should be in a better cognitive state to pick up some fresh fruit. 
Please, if you are listening to this, take these tips to heart and do not, for whatever reason, continue on your fat loss diet when you are ill. Take a few days off to eat as much fresh food as you can, ingest plenty of lean protein, and do not forget to take your fish oils. One, your body is craving nutrients in such a time when your body may feel like a raging furnace. When you are sick, your body needs all the energy it can acquire. Stick with the foods that are fresh and natural. Think of fruits, vegetables, oats, and so on. Try to at least maintenance calories or slightly over maintenance. Your body will have a better chance of restoring itself. Two, stay hydrated. Gatorade can be a good choice here. Eating lots of fruit will help rehydrate you since they're full of water and vitamins. Drink, drink, drink your water. Soup is also a very good choice to rehydrate and restore electrolytes when your rear end seems to be mimicking a busted fire hydrant. Three, eat at least your body weight in grams of protein. Maintain that hard-earned lean body mass. Your body needs energy. Make sure your protein intake is up to par so you prevent the loss of lean body mass. Eating protein along with fresh fruits should sit well in the stomach. I do not advocate eating protein only as this could cause more stomach complications. And four, rest. Out of everything I mentioned, this tip is most important. Sleep, sleep, and more sleep are key to recovery when ill. Make a point to do nothing but sit on your rump, eat, and sleep. Do not try to be Captain America and work out when you are sick. This will delay recovery and makes you more susceptible to injury due to lack of strength and focus. Stay home from work if you can. My plans for tomorrow are to go straight to the grocer, fill my basket with fresh fruit, watch Fight Club again, and enjoy being lazy. I did have a workout scheduled for tomorrow, but I can work out any other day. While I have played the tough guy part in the past, this time, I will sit this training session out. Plus, my blue and red Captain America suit is getting a little snug. Oh, and remember, meal frequency is not an issue. Just eat. You just listened to the post titled, Why You Should Eat When You're Sick, by JC Dean of jcdfitness.com. And I'll be right back with my commentary. When you're hiring, it feels amazing to finally close out a job search. But what if you could get rid of the search and just match? You can with Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it filters out incompatible applicants. So when you're hiring, the process is much faster and you only have to consider applicants that are already likely to be a great fit. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at indeed.com slash health. Just go to indeed.com slash health right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. JC's overall message is a good one. When we're sick, it is a good idea to fuel the body. One of the most common things dietitians learn in school is when a patient is sick, that means their body is under stress trying to heal. So that means the body is using lots of energy to try and heal. That means we need to recommend the patient eat more calories and more protein to help with the healing process. The problem is that when we're sick, we often don't feel like eating. If you've been vomiting or experiencing diarrhea, then you should avoid certain foods until the symptoms pass. But when you have the sore throat, fever, coughing kind of symptoms, then it can be helpful to make sure you're consuming enough calories and protein to support your healing and recovery. And of course, yes, hydrate, and rest as well. All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you so much for listening and sharing this show with someone. That's one of the best things you can do to help keep this podcast going. Simply showing it to someone else and getting them to follow or subscribe really goes a long way. 
So I thank you in advance for doing that. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.